Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Mind Tree interview experience. This interview happened today only, that is on 1st March 2022. So, guys, make sure that you watch this till the end and do not skip any part of this video. Guys, previously also, I have uploaded many Mind Tree interview experiences on my channel. I have a dedicated playlist for the same. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it and see through the questions that what type of questions are asked in the in the mind tree interview. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join my tele telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions we are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was today only that is 1st March 2022. The branch of my friend was civil. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. The first question that was asked from him was introduce yourself. And guys, you have seen lot of interview experiences video on YouTube as well as on my channel. So you must know that this is the very important as well as very commonly asked question in interview. This will be uh, around 9 out of 10 times. This will be your first go to question when you will be sitting in an interview. So kindly prepare this question very well. Kindly read through your resume. Kindly tell each and everything about you in less than one minute. You can include your projects, internships, your skills, extracurricular activities or different things that you like to do. All these things you can include in this particular answer. But try to make your answer brief and do not say anything in this particular answer that you do not know. So I hope I have made myself clear and you will you will be able to answer this particular question okay so now moving to the next question next question is why it so guys again this uh, this question is very common for the non it branches like civil is there ece is there triple is there so many many of the companies ask that you are not from the it background why you want to join the it company so the simple answer is that uh, that uh, during the four years of uh, four years of engineering you explored many technologies and now you know that where your interest lies so this can be a good answer for you that you have explored many things during your college like uh, college time and now you know that you want to work in technology rather than your core branch so i hope uh, this question is also clear to you next is which language you are comfortable with so guys uh, my friend answered c++ but again it is upon you that my, you might pre prefer python java or c++ but you must know at least one language while when you are giving when you are going for the interview because many questions will be asked from that so i hope this question is also clear to you you can answer or, or for yourself any language you are comfortable with okay so guys the next question was what is the difference between c and c++ so guys the major difference between c and c++ is basically the oops concept c++ have the oops concepts like polymorphism is there encapsulation is there inheritance is there but c does not support any classes or any oops concepts so i hope this thing is clear that c++ is an object oriented pro programming language whereas c is not an object oriented programming language so i hope this question is clear to you now moving to the next question it was ask the code that came in the written assessment so guys when you give the written assessment there are certain coding questions so that coding question can also be asked in the interview that please explain your logic that how you came to the solution that uh, th that th uh, that this problem requires so at that moment you cannot say that i uh, i just remember it i just cheated from somewhere so you will have to explain the logic of your questions so if you have time then do remember the questions that were asked from you in the uh, written exam and kindly prepare the logic for the same you might be asked to write the code again with the different logic or with the different optimization so kindly remember the questions that were asked from you and simply give uh, give the answer to the interviewer so i hope this question is also clear to you next is what are oops concepts so guys there are basically four major oops concept uh, for this particular question this is a very commonly asked question i made a separate video on my channel in which i have described the described the different uh, concepts of oops there is abstraction uh, abstraction is there there is inheritance is there polymorphism is there and one more thing uh, polymorphism is there and encapsulation is there so all these things with the help of real life example i have discussed in detail in the separate video i will give you the link in the description box make sure to visit that video for the explanation of this question so i hope this is also clear to you Okay, so guys, the next question was, what are pointers? So guys, pointers are nothing but they are variables which store the address of another variable. So this is a little bit confusing. See, we have a variable A here in which value 10 is stored. Now this 10 is a value, but 
pointers are the variables which store the address of another variable. So here you can see this is int star p. P is storing the address of a. So here p is storing the address of a. So what is p? P is a pointer. And how a pointer is displayed or you can say declared? It is declared like this int star p. That is, uh, it is uh, storing the address of a which is storing integer value. So therefore int star. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Now moving to the last question of this video and guys if you have not subscribe this channel till now please subscribe it as well as like this video also now last question of this interview was will you relocate for the project so again guys it is totally dependent on you whether you want to say yes or no but if you uh, but if you really consider then try to say yes in this particular answer because at the end when you join the company if they will say that you will have to relocate then you will have to relocate you cannot give any excuses to them or they will simply not listen so According to me, in an interview, you should say yes that you should relocate. So I hope all these questions are clear to you and it will help you in preparing for your interview. And guys, if you have mind tree interview, uh, mind tree interview or different companies interview in coming days, kindly go through my channel. I have uh, made separate interview expenses for separate companies. So I hope it will help you for preparing for your interviews. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching it.